Hey guys, just before we get into the tier list video, if you're part of the 54% of people that watch these videos and aren't subscribed, do yourself a favor, hit that subscribe button. I put a TCG video out every single day. Let's get into the fun stuff. I have a gander. Joe, I'll, I'll let Jack pick a deck. Joe, I'm going to let you pick a deck. Go on, Joe. Which one do you want to talk about? Uh, <laughs> uh, let's talk about <clears throat> uh, turbozation, I guess. Yes, okay, so, okay. Um, Obviously, Zation's still crazy. Nothing's changed there. <laughs> yep. Um, I think one thing, when I look at ADP Zation, um, I'm a little bit concerned about the lack of tempo that it has going into a VMAX format. Yep. It kind of gets away with its lack of tempo currently because you go, I'm doing nothing, I'm doing nothing, dead, dead, I've won. Yep. And ag against a VMAX meta, that's not always the case. Um, mm -hmm. And you can start slipping far behind. So... The way Temposation tries to keep uh, keep up with the meta is that if you're up against VMAX decks, now you're threatening knockouts on them before they evolve, yep. which mm -hmm. is obviously insane. You can remove energy attachments that way and keep up um, in a prize race, which is insane. Yep. Um, I think the reason why Turbozation hasn't currently worked in the format is because ADP is like still just the the go-to but there's now a, a an alternate yeah. way to cheat prizes yeah which you've got on there which is the scoop up net jirachi prism oh yes gimmick of course like it's been <laughs> a gimmick this whole time uh, are you but... talking about gimmick like i haven't got three videos on the channel about this already yeah no yeah yeah now you can free up your bench space to actually make it a thing and yes. Yeah. Scoop up that yeah. is generally like an excellent card for a deck like this naturally. Yes. Which is really really cool. So, um, like, you're already playing a Ranguru in every Zation deck. So putting in a Jirachi and a, a Mr. Mime, and then your scoop ups that are already quite good just for yeah. using like Mind Report Mewtwo and stuff like that mm -hmm. just makes sense. So you can have the same benefits that ADP has against control decks and against uh, fellow one prizer decks. So I like that you can now cheese people with some Jirachi Prism action. So I'm actually really um, excited to get testing Turbozation. I mm -hmm. certainly like the option and I've played plenty of games of ADP Zation where I've had to go Zation route anyway. Yes. And I know that it's possible. So just yeah. having it more streamlined, directed towards that route is really, really cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Jack, have you given much thought on speed Zation? Uh, I think it. I'm gonna echo basically what Joe said. I think it gets a lot better because you have a uh, more consistent gimmick, which is yep. probably like enough to compete with some of these bigger decks. Um, I initially wasn't too sold on it because like ADP is so far the king of this format, but. Mm -hmm. Um, and like the more I've thought about how VMAX has changed the game, it yeah. definitely you 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 need to. Zation is such a good card; it will probably never be a bad card. But you need yes. to look at different points of the card. You could Intrepid Sword on your first turn, and then ADP. Whereas now you probably need to Intrepid Sword to try and get four or five energy in the early turns to yeah. try and win. Like we say that way. Mm -hmm. um, I am interested to see how consistent the Jirachi Prism Star is because I haven't done much testing with it myself. <laughs> okay. So that is my biggest question. If that's fairly consistent, then I actually don't see why an aggressivization deck can't work. We saw it do um, okay last week in the Limitless Open and as yep. Joe said, there's ADP games where you don't even put an ADP down sometimes and Zacian wins off of its own back just because it's such a good card. Um, so I don't see it being below tier 2 just because you're yeah. basing it around one of the best attackers they've ever printed. <laughs> whether it's better than ADP Zation, whether it's the new way to play Zation, I don't know. ADP is still a very, very big tempo swing the turns after you've done it. Um, it's one that I'm really not sure on, but I can see the more I talk about it, the more I convince myself that yeah. <laughs> tempo Zation is just good because you're powering up the best attacker they've ever printed quickly and winning the game that way um, and you can win it even faster with Jirachi Prison Star, you have different consistency options with uh, Scoop Up Net and Mind Report Mewtwo like we've said, all of these mm -hmm. one prize techs that you can play yep. uh, that sounds really really good and even though Scoop Up Net is an insane card it's one of the only decks that I think it easily goes in yeah. um, for a huge benefit, uh, I think 
scoop up net will be insane during its lifespan of the format but i don't think it's been broken it, it's it's a card that will be broken a hundred times over probably in mill a hundred ways over but it this is the this is like the attacking variant i see it in mm. and i've really convinced myself especially just talking about it now <laughs> uh, that it sounds really really strong just powering up a very good attacker and winning winning before these vmax deck vmax decks can get set up yeah that's it like I, I've, I've had a lot of speedization like before um and now like you said being able to like uh, mind report awesome um being able to potentially reuse your actually that's a bit greedy but it can be done um what was i going to say there and like you said like if you let like dragapult or vmax that go uh v max deck go first and they only get one of their v down you're like bopsy that later if you can get a turn one brave what are they going to do and you can play stuff like the guillotina as well to take off horrors or speeds like yeah like i think it could be i don't know if it's necessarily the best way to play zation moving forward but i'm very really passionate about a bit of speed zation. i do love it been able to just intrepid sword to energy turn two or uh, turn one like yeah go on and now what <laughs> like, you know what, I mean? like, what are you gonna do so um yeah, and obviously I've been a fan of Jirachi Prism for the longest of time. Like I said, I've got three videos on the channel already. Like I love me a bit of Jirachi Prism, baby. So, <laughs> but um, with that all being said, well, I heard some tier twos about there. Um, I think. Uh, what do you think, Joe? I think tier two for now. I need to see sort of if it is. You know, like obviously it's competing with ADP now. Like, like we said before, it probably wasn't um, at an equal playing field. But now, like, it's sort of questionable. Like, is this the best way to play Zation? I don't know. And until that question's answered, I can't really put it higher than Tier 2. But I don't feel comfortable enough putting it in Tier 2.5 either. Does that sound about right to you? Uh, I would definitely put it in Tier 1. <laughs> tier 1? Oh, my Lord, really? Jeez. Like, I, if there was a Tier 1 point S here, I'd probably put it there. Wow, really? Not okay. I'm not playing Zation. Yeah. Okay. I'm, wow, one point I'm very skeptical at playing ADP Zation going forward. Yeah, I, 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 yeah, I yeah. want to. I want to be more tempo based in this evolving mm -hmm. format and punishing people for sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just it does seem super slow, doesn't it? Like oh, turn one energy, turn two all creation. Now you ain't got time for that no more. Now, like that's not a thing anymore, lads. <laughs> like, like Dragon Ball V Max, they can over two turns take that one prize knockout on a Jirachi and take that three prize knockout on ADP, and then <laughs> you just don't have enough turns in the game to win anymore. So yeah. You need to be faster. I think this is the best way to play Zation, personally. I would probably put it in S or one. Yeah. Right, I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna leave it in one. As a as a speed station believer, I I can't quite put it in S though. As much as I am, I can't put it in S. But um, for now, for now, I'm gonna leave it in one. But that does seem quite good. We mentioned ADP a little bit. It might as well stay in the Zation. Um, the sort of ADP Zation sort of uh, topic, I guess. Um, yeah, I just think. The sort of ADP, if it's uh, it's gonna have to change. I think it's just way too slow now. You can't just be like I said, turn one attached, turn two auto creation. Like I said, um, Dragapult just damaging counters everywhere at this point. You know, all sorts of stuff's going on. Um, and I'm I'm just I'm not convinced by ADP anymore. Jack, do you sort of feel a similar way there? Like we know what Joe thinks, as you said earlier. But uh, what do you think about ADP? Do you think it can compete still? Um, I. Uh... Alter creation is so strong. It's so strong. Yep. Um, and making Zation do 260 is obviously, again, really, really strong. But we're moving away from 270, 280 being the number anymore. It's mm -hmm. now 320, 330. And that probably bumps it down. Uh, if we're putting ADP, if we're putting Turbozation in one, um, I, I, I don't know whether Turbozation is better because i can't say personally i've tested it and i wouldn't want yep. to just yep. give an opinion i in my mind i don't know how much um like adp is still super consistent in my mind yep. and i don't know whether that consistency uh means it can be dragged down super far because you're probably still one of the most consistent decks um and a really really strong pressure deck um so I'd be reluctant to put it any lower, like one lower than like 1.52 area. Um, but I can see where this format is not anywhere near as good as the format that it's in right yeah. now for being able to be aggressive. The the selling point of the deck is Zation can trade up and can trade up very very well. Not only can it trade up prize wise, but it trades up uh damage wise it trade it, it's such a good attacker it's yeah. honestly one of the best cards they have ever ever printed yeah and whilst it still is uh 
it was because of the meta it was in. And yeah. with 320, 330 being the number now, um, th it, c it can't reach that damage gap. Mm -hmm. uh, so it d you're, you're going to be wasting damage if you're having to two-shot stuff, which means why are you playing the ADP? Because you're, you're wasting more damage technically because yeah. you're doing an extra 30 for no real effect yeah. and then wasting an extra 30. So you're wasting 60 damage plus whatever you overkill by. Um, so it, it's definitely not anywhere near as good. Uh, I'm scared to put it too low, like I say, because I think <laughs> it's super consistent at doing what it does. Um, I mean, this format, whilst it's a different format, uh, we were looking at some stats, and it's taken 45% of CP tournaments this format, which yep. is nuts. Yes, the format's been a considerably, uh, considerably shorter because of what's happened, but yep. that being said, it, it's it's still nuts. So I I think I'd put it in like 1.5. Maybe out of fear of underestimating it. Yep. Maybe out of just wanting it to, just wanting it to still be good because all I've played this format is ADP station. But <laughs> um, I, I think, yes, the tempo loss is worse now that these V maxes come out. But mm -hmm. you're still super good against pretty much the rest of the like V max is the only thing that scares me really. Yes. Um, all of the Mewtwo variants, all of the. Other, all of the other decks in the format, I feel it still has a very, very good shot at. So I think if we go down the VMAX route, which it looks like we're going to, it's probably maybe even tier 2, 2.5, but it still should clean up the majority of the rest of the format, I think. So I'm I'm going to say 1.5 okay. for ADP. Okay. That seems, that, seems, that seems fair. That seems fair. Joe, let me riddle you this. So if we agree that ADP like, might not be the best way to go, uh, I've seen some lists that are leaning really into the Copperage VMAX route. Do you feel as if that's some way? I mean, I haven't got, I don't think I've got Copperage ADP as its own deck. I've got, I've got Copperage, but it's something slightly different. Um, do you feel as like an ADP list where you lean more into the Copperage could potentially give it a new breath at all? Or Yeah, I think sneaking in a 1-1 one -one line um, into ADP Zation sounds very reasonable. It can help the mirror match and it can help... Um, against things that just have that slightly lower damage cap, uh, like the Picarons and stuff like that as well, because yep. Copperage just becomes similar to like how Toxtricity gets uh, at a certain stage in the game. It's just going slap, slap. Yeah. <laughs> and, and like you're just, the game's over no matter what. So, <laughs> and it's really, really good when Lysander's in the format to have a card that just sits on board, mm -hmm. lives, and then like you don't need to do anything next turn other than like yep. boss for game. That's so, it. That's yeah, cool. yeah. I mean, I would, I would put... ADPization in the same tier as Turbozation. Mm -hmm. I'd either put them both in S or I'd put them both in one, no matter what you want oh, to wow. do. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, I think, yeah, like Jack said, this Dragapult is a new contender to the throne or whatever, and it's going to be a bit of a hiccup from the normal game plan of just GX and start swinging. Uh, yep. You've got to play a little bit weirder sometimes, um, but it's nothing that ADPization can't handle. I definitely put it one minimum. It's like. If it's not the best deck in format, it's like the second Still best. Still up there, yeah. Mm -hmm. See, even just starting to talk about it, like at the start, I was like, "Oh, no, the decks will be the, the decks will be." But I'm thinking to my head, "Well, all that, all you have to do is like KO a baby V two times. Like that's not too hard. Like you've got bosses orders now. Just KO a V, KO the Dene. That's not, you know. So yeah, like you said, and like we said as well, against everything that's not a V max, we are still going to be hardcore slapping. So yeah, yeah. So um, yeah, it's still fine. And again, that's it. Yeah. Deck still want to have alter creation right yeah, so. yeah that's yeah and and and, and, and 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 at the end of the day what i've learned about adp taking extra prizes can just win you games on its own just by just yeah. be being silly like let's say you play against dragapult and they miss a v max like, oh whoops here's three prizes i'll have that and then oh there's a delay later on i'll have that as well so um yeah so i'll, I'll, I'll come full circle saying adp is rubbish and i'll think of myself yeah, okay it's actually not too bad it's not too bad yeah chill too guys bad. It's <laughs> yeah yeah that's it <laughs> it's another deck that i think is it's so consistent in its own right that it punishes people for being inconsistent as well. Like, yeah. you're, you're, if, if anyone misses a beat, like you've just said, if they miss the VMAX, if they miss, miss an attachment and don't do enough, you know you're going to be having to deal with 260 every single turn from then mm. on. Um, probably That's probably, like, best case scenario. Worst case scenario is they're getting ultimate rays and still taking prizes yeah. and setting up their board even further. So, that's it. Like, it's, it, puni it punishes stuff for missing beats as well. So, yeah, I... I, I I just think the even though like the tempo the tempo losses scary. Um, there's only two or three decks that you're 
losing tempo against you're still so good against the rest yeah no, that's it that's it so yeah i'm gonna leave it in one i'm gonna leave it in one <laughs> yeah no <laughs> now here's the thing you said s now if we're gonna put Cinzino in me uh, s we're gonna have to shift up some of these other guys as well because you can't say that's that's the that's why i wanted yeah. adp internalization in s as well yeah <laughs> all right yeah let's 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 beef out some s's now because like we can't just have come on jack we can't be putting in Zeno in s oh my lord yeah, so yeah no i, I yeah. i'm happy putting adp and turbosation i i had adp in my s when oh I did you yeah the other day. i, I just didn't have turbosation because i hadn't I, I hadn't thought about it enough but yeah, yeah. That I threw you guys off by wanting to put turbosation in S, but that's because I was also expecting to put these in S as well. Yeah, that's yeah. fair. I, that's I, fair. I, I like this as R S tier because yeah. you I mean Zation, like I said back then, was the best attacker they've ever printed. So No, that's 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 completely fair. So yeah, so that looks all well and good to me. Your sort of metal metalization. Now, it's one of those I always found metal metal to be that sort of edgy pick. If you did, if you thought you was too cool for ADP, let's bust out the metal metal. You know, having that energy denial aspect is nice. Being able to turn Zations into the super tanks is also fun. Um, and I guess potentially with Welder, it might drop up a little bit. It could be a bit better. I'm not sure. I know it had a little bit of success. Um, with Celia's network, I know he's been championing it as recently as well. With that being said, I haven't given it much thought. Rebel Clash, not gonna lie, I haven't piloted the deck enough to know. Um, Jack, have you given Mel Metal much thought? Uh, not too much because I still think it's probably strictly worse the worst Zation build. Okay. Um, interestingly, I I don't know about Luca Metal Zation in general, but Luca Metal making Copperages tankier, I think it yeah. is potentially just better because Zations still have uh like still are only what 220 hp plus minus the but uh, minus the however much it takes that's that's a lot of minuses but it's still overcomable but uh copperage having 340 <laughs> minus the damages I, I like i can see that being probably a bit of a tankier build if you want to go down that route it feels like Luca Metal wants to be pulled in so many different directions that it doesn't really mm. know where it's going. So yeah. I don't know how good that makes it. I think the other, the, like the other aspect of Luca Metal was the fact that you didn't need to GX early. You could be the Turbosation build. Yeah. Um, but it now seems like Turbosation is just better. It is just its own deck now. Maybe that even plays a single uh, Luca Metal. I don't know, but. I, I think Luke, like pure tankization, probably isn't as good. We said with Copperage, it's probably better to be doing more damage than reducing damage right now. So I think Luca Metal is kind of just not as good as the aggressivization builds. Yeah, that seems that seems fair. Joe, have you given much Luke Metal for? Yeah, I have to be fair as well. Just because I was naturally looking at the turbozation, um, I was thinking. Uh, about this list as well because you know 230 is still good enough just to get through the things before they evolve so yeah i'm interested in that uh for sure i think hammers can certainly punish straight dragapults as we expect them to be the most popular early on um just having hammers and your gx attack available can certainly punish those decks which is really cool um so i i do respect this list a decent amount i think you are still worried about the blounds and the mills and stuff like that Potentially weaving in again our favorite meme of the scoop up net Jirachi Prism star. <laughs> your solution for that, but <laughs> normally if you're if you're committing spaces to hammers, you probably won't have space for that sort of fun stuff. So yeah. I I think if we're expecting it to be similar to how it is now, its meta placement is still in a similar vein where it's kind of in that 1.5 category. We put it below the other Zations just because at the end of the day we want to take the prize cards quicker to win the game yeah <laughs> the slower approach does uh get punished at times but another thing to note is that cards like hammer and cards like malolana naturally seem to be stronger in this format so that's uh that's a good thing going for the deck to be fair okay that's interesting okay that all seems sensible so I think we're all in agreement that it's definitely not in the same tier as the other Zation, but I don't think it ever has been. I don't think it, I don't, I don't, moving forward, I don't think it will. I think Speed Zation is by far obviously a lot better. I think ADP. So for me, the sort of question is, how big is that discrepancy between the other Zations? We've got the other two Zations in S. Um, I don't think it's good enough to be Tier 1. Tier 1.5, mm, 
Oh, so let's look at the, let's look at the other one point five. Like we've got a Dragapult one in there. Um, I'm feeling is tier two too low? I'm not really sold on Lumo. I never really have been. <laughs> like, is that too? Is that is that is that not respecting it enough? Do you reckon, Jack? I think I'd probably go lower end of one point five. I've played a little bit of Luke Metal. I've actually played like ADP Luke Metal, and Luke Metal yes. as a card in general is just good in this kind of format. So mm -hmm. I think it's probably one point five. I don't think it's worse than stuff like Malamar. I don't know. Yeah, maybe it's not much better. Maybe, yeah, 1.52. Maybe 2 is fair. I, yeah. It's probably no better than Malamar. So, yeah, I'd, I'd, yeah, I agree with 2. That seems yeah. that feels fair, I guess. Yeah. Joe, do you think 2 is a bit too harsh, or is that about right? It's either top of 2 or low end of 1.5 for me. I prefer it in 1.5 just as a personal preference, because Jason means you're more consistent than a lot of the rest of 2. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but that's fair. That, that would be my only real kicker argument for uh, putting it in 1.5. That's fair. Okay. No, I, I hear you, but I'm still putting him in 2, though. <laughs> like, I mean, that's uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah, it's not, it's, not, it's not far apart there, so... Right, then. Hey, guys, thanks for watching that video. Much appreciated. Really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please don't hesitate to subscribe. I try and power as much stuff here as I can. Full deck profiles plus games. Topic conversational pieces regarding anything in the TCG. Um, check out my Twitter. Check out my Facebook. That's where you get most of the updates. Sort of see what's going on behind the scenes. All that good stuff. Also, check out the SoundCloud for the full um, bi-weekly podcast. If you're interested, if you like the conversational pieces, go check that out. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a good day.